Hi guys. So today I wanted to make a video about how I grew longer, thicker hair. So I have done a lot of damage to my hair in the past. I've dyed it black, I've dyed it dark chocolate brown numerous times, I've dyed it red. The most recent thing that I did was dye it red. Oh, and I should say just before I start getting into this, I haven't done anything to voluminize my hair like at the roots or anything like that. This is just how it is if I just blow dry it and then quickly put a barrel curler through it very, very briefly. So it definitely can look bigger than this, but I just wanted to show sort of how it how it is with seriously 10 minutes of styling. So the most recent thing I did to my hair was dye it red. So I got it all bleached out, had the full work done, and I found that my hair had already been getting thinner from all of the stuff I had done to it. A couple of years before that, I had dyed it black and then completely bleached that black out with John Frieda Go Lighter Spray. I'd sprayed in my hair and I'd put a GHD hair straightener over it to activate the stuff. Don't do that. Don't do that. So I've done really horrible things to my hair. So yeah, I had that done. And then I decided to just leave my hair alone. So that was the first step is if you have any kind of unusual color or something that's hard to maintain, it's very different to your natural color. My advice is if you want longer, thicker hair without extensions, go closer to your natural color. So what I did is get a color correction. I got ombre with a root pull. It did look pretty natural, not as natural as it looks now because it is natural now up until about here. I did that purposefully so that I could just leave my hair alone and let it grow out because I noticed I had a lot of baby hairs that were sort of short and a lot of breakage around here. I have shorter areas and I thought, this whole bleaching thing isn't working. Because I didn't want to sacrifice length, I didn't want to get much of my hair cut off. She did the whole color correction and kept my hair relatively long, but I started to see the breakage quite obviously. If I just blow dry my hair with a round brush, when I looked down on black pants, it looked like I'd had a haircut. It looked like I had been sitting there going mm -mm 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 with the scissors. Mm -mm 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 because so many bits snapped off. They could be this big, they could be this big. It was just bits of hair everywhere. And I still do have that a little bit. And I certainly still do have um, some split ends. My hair is not perfect by any means, but it looks healthy enough. So yeah, the first thing I did was stop bleaching, peroxiding, lightening my hair. Unfortunately, if you want your hair to be long and healthy and shiny, you're gonna have to stop bleaching your hair. That is why so many girls with really light blonde hair have hair extensions because it's just not sustainable. The second thing is I do use uh, curling irons and I do use a GHD wide plate straightener. Um, I don't really recommend the GHD. They get so hot and mine doesn't have a temperature control. I'd like it to be less hot. But what I do to counteract that is that I put the straightener through my hair very quickly. I don't do any of this business and let my hair singe and fry. I make sure my hair is always completely dry before I style it. And yeah, I do it very, very fast. Even I've used, I've used the wide barrel curler here. I literally grabbed four really big chunks of my hair and wrap, just wrapped it up. Eight seconds, done. And yeah, it'll fall out. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it it gives a smoother look. I like the look. I don't use hairspray. I don't. It's full of alcohol. It dries your hair out, and I just hate that sort of stiff feeling. And it sort of takes away that bouncy, healthy kind of look to your hair. I'm finding that it's not doing very much damage to my hair. I think it's when you hold the curling iron there for 20 seconds, and then you're loading up the hairspray. That's really, really going to damage your hair. And that may depend on your hair type because my hair is quite pliable. It's naturally wavy, curly-ish, more wavy. So it, it adapts to certain styles a lot easier. So if your hair is really hard to style, say you've got really super curly or you've got really straight coarse hair and the only way that you can style your hair is by 
absolutely singeing and frying the hell out of it to force it into that position. Unfortunately, if you want to get longer hair and you want it to be thicker and you want to stop the cycle of breakage, you may have to seriously consider a different style. The third thing is more health related. I treated myself nutritionally as well. I'm a qualified naturopath and clinical nutritionist. So I formulated myself a sort of hair, skin and nails mix. Um, I take 30 milligrams of zinc gluconate per day. I'm not recommending that other people go out and do that because we're all very different and taking high doses of zinc can actually be harmful to you long term. So my advice is go to a health food shop. If you can't afford to see a naturopath or a nutritionist, go to a health food shop or a vitamin store and ask for advice because they often have qualified naturopaths and nutritionists there. In Australia, you have to have a qualified person on the premises to sell certain practitioner only brands. Ask if they have a naturopath or nutritionist there that can give you the advice you need and ensure that there's not, not going to be any major interactions or issues there. That's just what I personally do. I also take biotin. I take a low dose five milligrams of iron of an amino acid chelate and I also I also do things for treating my acne. Um, I take some herbal preparations. I use St. Mary's thistle or Syllabum marianum. It's a herb that's used for the liver. There's some research behind it suggesting that it protects hepatocytes or liver cells and it influences liver detoxification and assists phase two liver detoxification. So in issues with the skin, obviously the elimination pathways of the body are heavily involved. For me, it's a lot of liver stuff. So I take my hair, skin and nails mixes for my acne as well, which as you can see works pretty well. <laughs> but yeah, it helps my hair as well. And that's obviously going to have an impact on your hair health, your thickness, how long it can grow. Part of this issue is genetics. If you have female pattern baldness or you're a guy watching this and you have male pattern baldness, the, even in the beginning stages, part of this is genetic and we can't reverse that or use a magic potion to change our genetics. Our genetics can also influence our hormonal profile, our hormonal balance, as can lifestyle and nutrition has a huge impact. So you really need to, if you're wanting to work on your hair or your skin, you really need to look at your nutrition because there's so many things that can affect it. So I had patients who had hair loss and I did a lot of research into Indian scalp massage, the use of essential oils, castor oil, coconut oil. And what I can say about that is there is some research behind it and it can help hair growth. However, nothing is going to override your genetics or override your hormonal profile or balance when we're talking about topical applications. There's there's pharmaceutical topical treatments which can be effective, but that's a whole other story because you need to continue using them to maintain that growth and there's issues with that. But um, yeah, in talking about home remedies and herbs and essential oils and topical applications, nothing can fix a major underlying issue or health condition that you have. And then we also have to consider, you know, women have babies and if you've been pregnant and given birth and then you have that drop in estrogen and your hormones just completely suddenly change, a lot of women see a sudden loss of hair. Even in clumps, it's not uncommon. And that can take months, sometimes years to even regain the hair you have. And sometimes it might never quite be what it was. But most people's hair does recover in that situation. And then there's issues like alopecia, autoimmune conditions that cause hair loss. There's nutritional deficiencies, thyroid conditions like uh, underactive thyroid and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. But when we're talking about nutrients for hair, you really need to ensure that you're getting enough zinc, iron, iodine, omega-3, essential fatty acids, protein. You need to be eating enough calories. If you're underweight, that, that's strongly associated with thinning hair. Your hair is somewhat a reflector of your overall health, so you need to work on your overall health, not just focus on one item of your body. So some products I use on my hair. I use the, <laughs> I use the macadamia deep repair mask. Um, it is cruelty free, but it's 
it has some natural ingredients but it's also loaded with chemicals but it just makes my hair feel lovely <laughs> I'm sorry it just does it just works and also I use this I use the shampoo the conditioner and the leave-in um, I'm not recommending this because I don't think Redken is a cruelty free brand um, and it's loaded with chemicals of course but I just wanted to show you because um, it is what I actually use and I want to be honest um, the reason I use this is because my mom got me a gift pack for Christmas because my hair was breaking and hair house warehouse staff recommended it to her again it's it's not a very ethical product but just being honest that I did use that and here's my brush that I use nothing fancy here's my wide barrel curling iron has heat setting which is the biggest deal for me and it's just a cheapo brand via Sassoon. So yeah, that's how it looks. But what I can say is that long hair can get very annoying. It gets stuck under my armpits. It gets stuck under my partner's armpits. It gets in my food. It just gets everywhere. Everybody finds my hair everywhere. So yes, long hair is not always glamorous. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Good luck on growing your hair and increasing the thickness. There are loads of things that you can do, but the main important thing is stop torturing your hair. <laughs>